Welcome to MacroCode. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. So today we are going to start a new series on .NET Mari. So for those who are new to .NET Mari, welcome to this channel and let's begin the journey. So I'm going to create a new project. So here I'm going to search .NET Mari. So this is .NET Mari template. So I'm going to create .NET Mari template. So I'll, I'll pick this one, then new. So here I'm going to say students app. So we're going to create a students app on .NET Mari. So here we pick .NET 7.0 standard term support. Then when I create, let's see. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So as you can see, we have our app already created. So this is .NET MAUI, that is a .NET multi-platform app UI. It is actually a cross-platform framework for creating native mobile apps and desktop apps with C Sharp and XAML. So as you can see, for those who have been uh, able to interact with uh, Xamarin forms, you can see our project is actually a single uh, code base. We have our entry class here, which is MAUI program.cs file. Then we have uh, our main page, which is a, actually a XAML page. Then we have the appshell.xaml, then app.xaml. Then we have all the resources, that is the app icons, the fonts, images, rows, uh, then a splash, uh, splash uh, screen. Here the splash is actually the icon. Then you have the styles. So you can see you have the colors on the style. So this is where we'll be having the styles. Then you can see the platform it is targeting, that is the Android, iOS, um, Catalyst, Artisan, and Windows. Then we have the properties of our app. So let's try and rebuild the app and see. Let's clean the app. So that is how you create a .NET Maui app. So for those who are new, so we are going to start this series on .NET Mari because some of you guys have actually requested for more videos. So we'll actually pick it up from where we left. And this one, so we we so we had actually created another .NET Mari series. So for those who haven't watched that video, please consider watching and uh, combine with this one for more .NET Mari knowledge. So as you can see, my app has been created. I've actually cleaned the app and built successfully. So if we just launch the app, I'll choose here uh, Android emulators. Then I select Android. So I can choose. So if I just begin our app, so I want to accept, accept. So you can actually use our, we can create a default Android device. So there we are. So we're going to use Android emulator. So it's downloading. So our Android emulator is installed, so we can start it. So let's see. So there we are. Let's see. Let me just stop this so that we can be able to launch our app now. So let's launch our app with uh, our Android emulator. So there we are. Let's see. So for those who are new to this channel, consider subscribing, watch our video, like the video, comment down below in case you need us to do anything on these videos. So our emulator is launching. So our app is launching, as you can see. Let's see. So we haven't updated anything. We just created the .NET Maui app and we are now launching on uh, Android emulator. So as you can see, we have our 
our app here. So we have actually created now our .NET Mavi, our first app, you can see. And if you open this, you'll be able to see we have it here. So you can actually change, uh, you can see, you can change the description here. You say, welcome, welcome to .NET Mavi series with a macro code. So if we save that, let's relaunch. Then we should be able to see our students up. So let's see all the changes that we'll be having on our app. See, welcome to, to .NET Mavi platform app UI. So it is actually showing on the home. Let's see. So this is our page. This is the text that it is actually showing. So if we copy this and have it here, then save it. It will actually reflect. So you can see, welcome to .NET Mavi series with macro code. So this is how we just created a simple .NET Mavi app. You can see we have uh, our, our Android manifest file. We have our main activity, we have our main application. Then you can see we have our iOS catalyst. And uh, so these are some of the uh, platforms. Then we have our resources folder where we'll be having all our icons, fonts, images, styles, and colors. Then we have our app XAML app shell.xaml then we have our main page and the Maui program a class so that is it for today guys so for those who are watching this video subscribe and see you on the next series so this is episode one of dotnet amari see you on our next video bye